The term incubus syndrome refers to a condition that most commonly affects women, in which the affected individual claims that a male demon accompanies them during sexual encounters and lies on top of them while they are performing sexual acts. Welcome to Moonjis, a place where you find all kind of facts and mind-twirling information that would make you realize that facts are much stranger than fiction. Origin. The term is a Latin term which means nightmare, what lies down on one whilst one sleeps. The early story of the incubus syndrome starts way back in the ancient histories. In Mesopotamia, around 2400 BC, the hero Gilgamesh's father is named Lilu on the Sumerian king list. This is one of the earliest examples of a demon with similar traits to an incubus. Lilu is said to bother and seduce women while they sleep, while Lilitu, a female demon, shows up in men's erotic dreams. Ardit Lily, who visits men at night and makes ghost children with them, and Idlo Lily, a male version of Ardit Lily who visits women at night and makes ghost children with them, are also seen. Ardit Lily comes from the word Ardatu, which means a woman of marriageable age. Idlo Lily comes from the word Idlu, which means a grown man. There have been different cases according to several researches that prove that such incidents take place among women. Incidents there is this one case where a middle-aged woman was hospitalized for morning angry outbursts, muttering to herself, suspiciousness that someone is controlling and watching her and poor sleep, and clitoris tingling for one month. If you think that you learned something different today, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that we are inspired to make more of such amazing content every day. The woman felt tingling when she observed unfamiliar individuals surrounding her and thought they were touching her genitals. She began abusing unknown men and believed her husband was stimulating her genital area without touching them. This misconception caused her to sleep in the next room from her husband. She said this tingling sensation continued for two to three hours and forced her to lie down. She also said she felt unknown man's hand and male genitalia touching her private parts at night. She frequently awoke alone. Her husband said she slept with pelvic thrusting and no self-genital stimulation. She was disturbed, not orgasmic. And another case where, a young married woman with 10-year-long sickness had complained of frequent screaming, severe fearfulness, hearing voices particularly from her someone who abused her, suspiciousness of family members, and abusive aggressive outbursts. The patient said she felt someone touching her feet and upper body, specifically her breast and genitals, which startled her and made her shout. She also said that during sleep she felt the weight of someone on her upper body and a male penis in her genitals, and was unable to move. It felt real when she woke up. She answers that the men were known and appeared in shadows with horns on the head. Her insistence was delusional. She woke up horrified and feared sleeping every day. This made her sad and suicidal. There was no medical, psychiatric, psychological, neurological, or sleep-related history. Although the idea of incubus is primarily rooted in the folklore of the Western world, there have been very few case studies conducted on the subject, with the majority of these studies coming from various parts of the world. There is a wide range of opinions held by authors in relation to this illness, for example, some authors link it to psychotic disorders, while others link it to sleep disorders. If you like this video, a sub to the channel would be amazing and share the video with your friends to show off how different this world has been. You can also visit our website www.munjis.com for thousands of such mind-blowing content. See you tomorrow with more amazing content. Thanks for watching.